In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use an infrared receiver. For this tutorial you need an Arduino, a breadboard, three jumper wires, mail to mail, an infrared receiver and a remote control. First we're going to add the receiver to our breadboard and then we're going to connect the three pins which are pretty straightforward. The first pin is the ground, which we connect to the ground on our Arduino. And the second pin is the 3.3 volt. You might need to alter between the row of your breadboard because it gets very crowded over here. So the red wire is going to the 3.3 volt. And the last one is for the signal which sends the, the data and we're going to connect this one to pin 12 so you're now ready to build the Arduino code this is the first part of our infrared receiver code and as you can see I start with importing a library, the IR remote library well, as we did before, we can include a library with Manage Libraries and we're searching for IR Remote. So type in IR Remote. And then you see the robot IR Remote built in by Arduino. And you can, I've already installed this one, but you can install it with the Install button. And once you're done, we can continue with the code. Um, I've defined an integer for the receiver pin. And the receiver was connected to pin 12, so if you use another one you can change it here. And then there's something new. What we're going to do is we create a new instance of the IR receiver object. And what we want to do is we want to create an instance of the library which listens to the IR receiver pin. And we have here IR receive, what's well, abbreviation. But then we can use later on in our loop, we can use this variable, the IR receive variable which you see over here. We can use it to uh, read out the signals we've received. There's also another type, which is the decode results. And the decode results is also part of the IR remote library. And we define a variable results, which is of the type decode results, to store our received data. We're going to initialize the serial monitor, the built-in LED, and we print a message that we're starting the IR receiver. Then we are enabling the infrared in, so the input for the infrared signal, on our IR receiver instance, which we've created over here. Then we print a line, IR receiver is active, and we turn off the built-in LED. Well, here comes the part where we read the signal. If the IR receivers receive the signal, then we decode the um, received signal and store it into results. And here you see an ampersand. Oh. And what we do is we store the received data in the memory address of results. And as you remember, we defined results over here. So if a signal is received, then we print the result, dot value. So this is basically an object which has multiple properties. But we're going to print the value in a hexadecimal format. Then we tell the IR receiver to resume reading signals. I've come on this, I'll show that later. So now when I upload this to my Arduino, and open the serial monitor, you see starting IR receiver, IR receiver active. Now when I press the buttons on my remote, you see codes appearing. And these codes are the codes of the buttons I'm pressing on my infrared receiver. The nice thing is that in this way you can read any remote control and see what kind of signal they're sending. So what I did in my code over here I figured that for my remote FF42BD is the asterisk button and FF52AD is the hash button. 
So now when I uncomment this code and send it to my Arduino, we are able to turn off and uh, turn on the built-in LED on our Arduino. I'm now going to show you what it looks like. I've uploaded the code to the Arduino and as you can see the built-in LED is turned off. When I press the asterisk, you see the LED going on. And when I press the hash, it's turned off. You can also see on the infrared receiver a red light blinking when a signal is received. So you're now ready to control your own circuit with an infrared remote. If you made it this far, I'm going to challenge you with this little project. As you can see, a LED is blinking on a certain speed. And with the buttons, 2 and 3, I can slow down the speed of the LED. My challenge for you is to copy this project and try for yourself that you can speed up and slow down the LED using your remote control. From one of the first lessons you know how to make a LED blink and in this tutorial you've learned how to use a remote control. Good luck!